I don't care to hit your weed, we got our own strength. <laughs> Bitch with her thug and we can't hold hands. She sell it like money. All right, guys, we're gonna start the vlog off today with uh, working out with Noah. I'm here with my boy Rodney. What's up, what's up? You go by Rod. Rod Dodd. Rod Dodd. Me and him went to high school together. Shout out North Point High School, Maryland. And uh, we both graduated in 2015, and he recently moved to LA. Yep. How you liking it so far? I love it, weather's great. I've been getting spoiled where even when it's like getting a little bit cold, I'm like, oh, it's too cold. Like, it's annoying that we've gone through the four seasons. You have to be layered up in Maryland. And and I'm starting to get used to it, but I'm almost like you now. Bro, when it rains, I'm like, what is this? It's Meanwhile, not LA. it's not LA. It's not what I paid for. I chose Rodney to run with today because you've been on a, a running streak so far, right? Uh, yeah, I've been running every day for the past 126. Damn. Did you just tell yourself like, yo, today I just want to see if I can run for a year straight? I ran with my roommate, George. He outdid me that day. Okay. And after that day, you know, I was like, I looked in the mirror. Something about being the underdog. You had that little loss of like, nah, that's not me. I'm better than that. And I didn't have the the, the body or like the physique that I wanted. And yeah. Like, you know, I'm out here. You used to be so. a little bigger when you were younger, right? You already know. Yeah. But I mean, you're like leaned up. You're literally fitting in your high school t-shirt right now, bro. <laughs> I couldn't fit this. It was This was too small in high school. How much do you weigh right now? I uh, weighed myself this morning. One 174. Okay. What is your average mileage like every day? Every day, uh, at least three. I used to do two just when I first started, but after the first 15 days, you get used to that. And you don't listen to music when you run? No. Three, two, one. <laughs> Most fuckers, David Goggins out here. Holy shit. If I maintain this pace, I can probably make it to three. If I try to do what he's doing, I probably got 40 seconds left in me. We didn't even get a mile in, the shirt came off. God damn it. It's hot, it's a hot day. We ain't even at a mile yet. See, if I take my shirt off, people will just click off on the video, so I can't do that. First mile, 840 pace. It's probably gonna go up though. I'm good, I just broke my first sweat. My first win, we better get moving. 1.4 miles, we got about a mile left. I, at least, no one can make it. I'm at 1.5 mile, I'm a, a mile and a half. Rodney is nowhere to be found. He's past my foresight, probably on mile 50 already, but I haven't stopped. This is literally an example of life. Two different people dealt with two different very cards. I may be going slower than him. Doesn't mean I'm giving up in my own lane. I'm only succeeding personally, because I haven't stopped. He just can run 10 times faster than me. Ain't no way you catching up. I'm here. Holy shit. That's big rod back there. I'm barely here, but I'm here. His calves are made of steel. 822 a mile. Damn. I just hit two. What you at? Three, four. five? Three, three. Holy shit. Three, four. Ain't no way he's about to Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> My calves are on fire. I used to get shin splints back in the day. Good <sighs> shit so far? <sighs> My calves are just tight. My stomach. Did you Ooh. eat or? I didn't eat shit today. Oh, that's probably why. I'll never eat shit before I run. run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that fucking alcohol. Oh, shit. In. We still going though. The shirt might have to come off. Come on, bro. It's time. Oh shit. I'm dead. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Hey, who said to do that? Yeah, boy. Good shit, bro. Holy fuck. We did a three miles. I did a little more than three. I got four or five. Damn. That was a good ass run though. That was really good. Today was really hot. Yeah, for real. I made it before. For those that don't know, this is Tyrone and Mello, right? Yeah. No, no. no, no. Tyrone. This is Tyrone and this is Mello. How long did it take to grow the dreads? After their first year, that's when their hair starts pulling up. To get that long, like three years. Jeez. There's gotta be a human in there. There's gotta be a dude in there. Like I seen this guy in Japan who spent 20K in a dog costume just to feel like a dog. Like, what's up, man? Just wanna be friends. How old are you today? Quiet, Tyrone. Uh, they're both four. Uh, Tyrone's birthday is April 26th. Okay. okay. His birthday is May the 21st. All right. They say a dog is a man's best friend. Like, bro, this is a, I got like this is the best it gets. <laughs> right. You got two of them. You do have eyes in today. I see, man. Does he know how to do any tricks? Uh, he knows sit. Mello, come on. He's overstimulated. Oh, 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 look at the length on this man. Mello, sit. 
Yeah, he's overstimulated. Uh, stimulated. I'm sorry. You're he's, good, you're good. He's back there listening. I know, Tyrone's chilling. What do you feed this guy? Five cups a day. Whew. It takes him all day to eat, though. He doesn't eat much. This is naturally fucking huge. Stand up. Oh. Oh. What are you, like, 5'10"? God damn. Yeah, he's tall as hell. So did you get them at the same age so they like kind of grew up together almost? Or? Yeah, I got them at uh, eight weeks. They grew up together. They love each other. He's right. just an asshole. Really? Yeah. Do they fight much or not really? Nah, he just barks at him. He tries to he tries to control everything because he was the first dog. Okay. Let's see. Oh! That's what they do all day. Can we take him for a walk outside? You f***ed him with no leash, right? Yeah. I told Matt that we were gonna meet uh, Ronnie's dog. What do, you, what do you think? So all I heard was a small dog and a big dog, <laughs> and this is not what I was expecting, but this is... <laughs> He's a human. Oh no, this Bruh. is... What? He's 128 pounds. Yeah. And when he stood up, he was like actually like 5'8". Come on, buddy. We're good. What's up, man? What's up? This is that, This has got to be the coolest thing ever. I don't think anybody can look cooler walking with a dog than you. Yeah, I get stopped all the time. I was about to say, you scared of the neighbors get scared of you. They love me, actually. Really? Well, they love him. I, I can't say me. Has anybody go up there? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. People uh, see him and cross the street. What happens when he walks to, like, dogs that are smaller? Just... Oh, no. He, he immediately runs up to him and tries to play with him, but they immediately tag him. No, oh, God. Uh, see if he can catch me. He gets attacked. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my God. Come here, Melo. Did you guys have like trust like off rip or how what? did you trust him to like not run away from you or? When he was a puppy, like when he was real small, I didn't want him to be on a leash at all. Okay. So that's how I trained him, like just to walk around me. Wow. Tyrone, I tried it, but when he was small, he used to like, I call it tag and he like, just dip. Yeah, he gets wow. the fuck. And then he'll come back, but he will he tries to go as far as possible. He got to explore. You have, wait, have you done a run with him? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, how many miles did you do? Only one five. They, they can't run that far. He tries his best. Workout in. I swear he could speak. He's just not doing it. If he was ever saying anything, he definitely talks with like a, like a lisp. Like somebody that's like 400 pounds. <laughs> Can you give him the N-word pass? Him? Yeah. Nah, this is my white dog. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mallow. Tyrone gets it. Tyrone, that, his name's Tyrone. He has to. You want to? Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll give him a little run. If you put yours in sport mode, you might be good. Yeah, I can get him. I'm going to let you run with him first because he's probably more comfortable. I'm gonna literally beat this. Damn, he beat you. Yeah, he's faster than me, I'm telling you. No. When he's motivated. It's midnight and you see this thing running at you. Oh, Holy damn. shit. <laughs> I'm Bro. calling a taxi. Yeah. <laughs> so when you bring him to the dog park, next break in instant. Oh yeah, definitely. Every time I go to the dog park, he's the center of attention. Tyrone comes, yo, yo. he comes out of the cut sometimes and they're like, oh, you got a small one, but. Okay, what happened? The big one is always, he's always the center of attention. Hello. Hey. Yes, sir. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> he didn't want to run he without me. me. He's Go ahead, buddy. Out. Go ahead. Bro, if this thing was chasing me, I would, this would be the scary thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Not he really. thinks we're going to the dog yeah. park. All right, it's a new year. We're making new clothes. Like we said, we're going to keep ramping it up. I know y'all are spotting these already. They're like, oh, redrop the Letterman's, drop the Letterman's different colors. We actually formulated the best colors like for the next drop. When we first saw this, I was like, there's no way we just made this. And that one was special, so we had to do it like in its own drop. And we had just enough time where we got, we can make so many colors with these, but we decided to make a baby blue. The baby blue? Come and on. the blackout Letterman. This one, whenever we drop this, if you don't get this, I, I actually will feel bad for you. This is just like a sneak, like who's mate? Like what? And we're coming out with TV remotes. Just kidding, this is for our Yeah, TV. Universal Turn this works off. with any TV. Samsung, Mitsubishi, Vizio. We drop remotes. Come on now. Who's dropped remotes? With like custom name buttons on there, like. It's like a bitches or something. I'd be, jam I'd be jamming that button. Just kidding. Bro, but the shirts though and shit. Unreleased sweatsuits. Bro, these are just some samples. Like we can make so many colors, but we kept it simple at top. Look at that. Ooh. That distress. See, I'm thinking with these, we can do different colors if you guys like it. Like maybe more, less contrast, maybe like cream mm. or brown, or maybe just or, same. Or it could even be black on black. It, it could be the same color because of the shadows colors. and shit. These are gonna be very limited. We're gonna test this out, see if y'all are fucking with it. And then we have so many things coming. That's all. We made more zip ups. People were like, yo, y'all gotta make some more zip ups. <laughs> These ones have satin linen on the inside of the hood. Come on, bro. Feel the velvet on the inside. Damn. And the velvet on the inside. Bruh. Are you kidding me? I think it's been fun to just experiment and like trying to make these designs like come to life. And we're getting them like we just unbox these and put them on and we're like, wait, 
this is feeling good. And then sometimes in the sampling process, uh, before you, you pick out the design, we have to find out what do we want to put it on. So this is a new t-shirt, which we're fucking with. We're, we're trying to make custom like cut and sew. And like just like you can only get when you get it from our brand. Cause this feels like it's like worn and washed and light, but like And we were really cool. recently about to try this on. We, uh, we've been trying to make like a cropped hoodie. So I think this is like our first attempt at a cropped hoodie. Well, we're still working on the sizing. Oh. <laughs> when building a brand, like you have to go through the trials and tribulations. This is something we probably got to send back to the manufacturer. Maybe, maybe, hey, a, maybe it's a small, right? This, this, that's a large? This is a large. Uh, okay, well, see. Now, see, this is what, it's trial and error. It's trial and error. See, that's why it's called a sample. Now, why do they even send this as a sample? <laughs> why do they even send this as a sample? Did they actually send the youth? Is that the youth large? I think we're making kid sizes now, yeah. Cropped hoodies. My face can't breathe, though. But is this a style where you have no room in your head up here, or what? I yeah. think we'll get the, the dimensions right, you know? We'll have to, we'll have to get the measuring tape with out. The blue? I see, like, YouTubers and shit. I ain't gonna say no names, but I see them, and they're dropping, like, Hanes t-shirts and shit with, like, some rink and dink letters on them. I'm like, like they huh? almost seem like mall kiosk, like heat press. And like, there's us. Come on, bro. Are bro. you kidding me? And then there's us. You don't need to know who we are to be like, that's a nice looking jacket. I mean, the pink one so sold out in like two minutes, right? Yep. We didn't even get to promote it. It was like, hey guys, it's like, uh, it's out. Gone. Gone forever. This one might be my new favorite though. Wow. The blue. The blue is sick. Baby blue is crazy. It almost makes you forget about the pink one. <laughs> I forgot about it already. And we're bringing these back. I think we can do a whole bunch of colors with these, honestly. Carpet. The carpet goes crazy. And this ain't even everything. This is just one little. Oh, we have so many more things we can do. See, then put this on. And this is more for like the gag, but we can do it all. That's Here, all put this on, Sue. Put this on. Oh, yeah, that. And that's the thing. You can mix match all the clothes. Like, <laughs> come on. Hey, man. You watch Strawberry Part 2? I do. <laughs> There's probably someone out there that has like every piece that we've ever dropped. Comment down below, there's probably someone. DM us on Instagram and show us how many Strawberry Park pieces you have. Whoever has the most will fly out to LA and they'll sleep in Rob's bed. As I, I do got a, I got a king, I got, no, I got a queen. You got a queen, it fits, okay. It fits like two people. Just to give back, just to give back to the viewers. That would be a treat. One night with Rob. Wait a minute. He'll make you a cup of hot cocoa. <laughs> Rob has to take care of the guests. <laughs> Anyways, um, what are, actually, yeah, what are those? Anyways. What are you, what, what are you wearing? Y'all notice anything different about me? You can get a close up on these. These are the uh, Reebok weightlifting shoes. So you're familiar with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, um, Sam Sulik. Yeah, these are kind of going to get me looking like them. All right. Oh, you want to know what they do? Yeah, what, what Glad do you asked. Do? Someone like me who's built like a cinnamon stick, when it comes to squatting, my frame doesn't do it very well just because of how I'm set up. Mm -hmm. So these give me that extra lift so that I can do a squat and it can hit my glutes better. So they're like training wheels. <laughs> Rob? For oh. lifting weights. Rob, can I talk to you for a second in the bathroom? Training wheels? Dude, you know I've been trying to do this whole lifting thing and then you embarrass me on the vlog. Well, I was just trying to do, make like a funny joke and it's kind of true though, because it's like... Training wheels implies that I can't ride a bike. I can squat, it's just... For my, for my person. Oh yeah, so it's like a smoother sort of like workout. Like it's like an easier workout for you. Yes, but the, not every viewer is gonna know that it's like, it's supposed to optimize your weightlifting thing. They're gonna think I'm a bitch. Reebok style. Okay, the Nike ones were too expensive. They were $200. I'm not gonna spend $200 on weightlifting shoes. Right. When I, when I open up about the fitness stuff, I already know I'm gonna get flamed. You adding to it. Was that the only style they had? Yes, what's wrong with this one? What color is this? Is that like a butter cream? Dude, like? they had black. They Okay, what color should I have gotten in here? But like the button on it, this kind of looks okay, funky. To be fair, like, I didn't have you know pumped the, them up yet? Okay, you, it does say pump on the, the To be fair, I didn't see. They are wearing have, pump it up. They didn't to, have the, to the gym. Rob, pump it. They didn't have. They didn't have a front view of the shoe. I thought it was just like a red like logo or something. I didn't know, and I didn't want to do black because I thought, well, you know, if I'm gonna spend money, like I'm not wearing them out in public, so I'll do something a bit more flashy. Like I wasn't gonna get the red because I thought that was like overkill. But I got. I think it's called like court brown or something. So it's like a kind of yeah. like tan. I sent it to this one girl I know, and she was like, oh, I like the tan color of the best. I was like, oh, that's what I thought. Okay, well, if you like that. When I get fucking ripped. And it says training on him. Like what shoe actually says, like what it's supposed to do. Like train, it actually says training. Okay, you got me there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't worn them in yet. Show us like how it would be done, like the form and stuff. This is how it would be done, Rob. I don't have a bar on me. 
kind of like that. That was good because there's a lot of like, I could tell there's a lot of support there, like in yeah, your, see that? I just... your heels. Oh wait, no, you're actually going crazy. Yeah, Let me see. see that? Wait, what the fuck? That form's actually crazy. Yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. People in the comments, you didn't even do it right. Yeah, I know. That's why I bought the fucking shoes to help. It's all fun and games until I fucking pull up with these, bro. What does the orange part do? What do you mean? Yeah. Is it a button? You get a little taller, or what is this? <laughs> <laughs> that activates the speed setting, Rob. So now pump up this one. This helps you lift a little heavier, I guess, or something. Yeah, everyone laughs until I fucking speed off. Just Ryan in the gym, like having to just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it cranks me up. Okay, the pump doesn't do anything. That's like an iconic logo thing, pump. Is it Adidas? Isn't okay, it, I thought Adidas. Cost, I think these were 150. Okay. Y'all can get them on Amazon right now. I want to make sure you, you know, it wasn't like a 700 bucks and you'll be able to lift it. And you'll look like, <laughs> you'll look like Sam Sulek. I've actually haven't been this excited for a purchase in a long time. They, they look good. No, what do you think about the color? It's not bad. The okay, silhouette. Not bad. <laughs> Hey man, what do you think of my, my bride? What do you think about my wife? It's like, she ain't bad. I can't tell if it's trying to be orange or brown. I went for the, they had black. They had black, red, okay. and some other bullshit colors. To be honest, I didn't even know Reebok had that many different models. I wanted something that had some character to it. The silhouette is fire. It is, look at that. Yeah, now red in this outfit. Can you just see me at the gym, stretching and shit? Good morning. Pumping your shoes up. Just wait till they just fucking wait till they're fully pumped up. But yeah, you'll see like all the more serious weightlifters and shit. Like wear shit like this. But yeah, the Nikes and Adidas were just too expensive. So y'all see, y'all will see. When my ass just starts going fucking crazy, pause. I, I don't know another way to say that. <laughs> I'm saying like <laughs> When I start getting kicked up out of nowhere, everyone's gonna, they'll get it. They're kind of fire because they're like, kind of like Timberlands, you know? Like, that's the trend right now, so I can see what you're doing. They're called Court Brown. What is this on the side here? Does it actually pump up? Release? Wait, Wait what? Did you just- I missed that. You got the interactive shoes. It's, like. it's making, an, it's making like an actual pump noise. I might be able to fucking fly. Can you jump? Yeah, try jumping. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're meant for jumping. I mean, I think it's just like a gimmick. How about we talk about the, <laughs> that guy that was at the gym and Rob was working out? Bro, I was working out, I, w I was just on the treadmill and I noticed this guy like dancing, doing some moves that I've never seen before. I was walking and then I was recording, but I noticed it was too shaky. So I was like, I gotta stop. So I went like this and I like got a stable shot. And I was like, bro, this is viral. Like if I put this on TikTok, it's viral. I've seen that guy at the gym and he was like, like twerking, doing like a squat. The moves he was doing is like, I actually want to like ask him like, what are you training for, bro? I need to go up to him and just be like, are you down to like be on our channel? <laughs> like, was he I need to interview. Can no, I work out with you first? No, no, bro. He was doing that for an hour. An hour You're joking. An hour straight. Like, You're joking. no, like he was in his own world, just like looking straight ahead. There was no mirror. There was no video. There was no propped up no, iPhone. No. I thought at least, at least he was making like no. a YouTube Joe. skit. And I saw him again today. I went today, saw him again. Uh, he was more tame, but he was still like doing moves. He was just like doing some. It bullshit. had to have been the most LA thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy like, shit. I'll have to join him next time. Because like, you're a dancer, so. Exactly. You could probably ask him. But some of the moves he was doing, like, he was creating his own stuff, so. There's a guy at my gym who he just cleans. He's like the cleaning man there. I don't know if I feel like I'm on a show or something and this, I'm being pranked the whole time, but he'll clean right where I am every time I'm trying to do a lift. And there's a whole gym, and he specifically goes to wherever the people are to clean and mop stuff. And I'll be sitting there and he's like getting under my feet and stuff. I'm like, this has to be a joke right now, bro. And yeah, it'll literally be mid set and he's there. <laughs> like old Armenian man. Just <laughs> Maybe he's trying to talk to people. Like maybe he's hoping you like say like, hey. And I'm like, bruh, you didn't get any of this side over here. Start over there. Cause there's things going on here. <laughs> there's a few characters. And then there's this girl that has a fake ass that I haven't seen her do one lift yet. She just walks around a bunch of times. Yeah, I saw the girl try to cut her blood all out. And she was doing like the hip thing. And she did her set just for the story and then just stopped. I was like, you worked out for the clip. And that was it. And she did no more sets. I thought I just walked away somewhere else. And I heard of uh, this girl I knew went to a Pilates class. And then there was like a big heavy set girl, fitness heavy set girl. It's oxymoron, but I'm gonna need that after you. Oh yeah, this is nice. Setting up the tripod in the Pilates class, and then would like not even be doing the workout. Ring light and everything. Film. Do a few. <laughs> and then stop. But that's some LA shit. Does that even happen in other places? Nah, that's gotta be just LA. 
where girls, well, guys too, with that dancing motherfucker, but he wasn't even. No, yeah, I seen, I was upstairs and some girl had her tripod and just casually just had it on the stairs, like blocking, but like people don't care over here. That is becoming such a thing to be an influencer. I feel like that's what everyone has to do now. You have to be making content somewhere, doing something. Yeah. Are fake asses as prevalent in other places? Maybe Miami, like are there fake ass girls in Michigan? It's definitely more LA, Miami for sure. Yeah, that's why some of the stuff we talk about, we always get the comments like, that's only because you guys are in LA and that's all you guys see. I mean, that could be the case too. It's like, hey. I just remember I saw a video where it was a, a girl going up to girls and saying, what do you think guys prefer, BBL or natural? And every girl said, BBL, 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 BBL. And then she asked all the guys and it was, Natural, natural, natural. I think that trend is kind of coming to an end. I think the BBL trend is not as popular. I, I even think amongst the girls, like I've heard people say that like, oh no, it's not, it's not in anymore. So I don't know. But then uh, the face filler trend is ramping up here specifically. And nose jobs, nose jobs, face fillers, face list. Yeah, that's not going anywhere right now. I just want to get a little something just to. But no one really knows the long-term effects of those fillers really yet. I saw a TikTok about that where it was saying, it was like a video of Kylie Jenner and her shit was yep, looking lumpy. On. You saw that? Oh, yeah. Not that I follow Kylie Jenner at all. Yeah, they're saying they don't have the long-term effects of what that does to people's faces. Everyone's just these guinea pigs right now. Uh -huh. Not all girls, but there's a population of girls trying to have that filter-esque look. Yeah. But it's like some weird dystopian shit because it doesn't look right. It looks fake and... And it's almost like you could blame, I don't know about blame, but the Kardashians influence a lot of the these trends of the beauty and what the standard is. So it's like, yeah, when Kim Kardashian had the BBL big butt, it's like everyone wanted to get that look like Kim K. But I think now she's getting it removed and fillers removed and stuff. So it's like, like that's the new trend maybe. And half of these girls, like when you see them in real life, it doesn't look pleasing to the eye, but the right angle on that photo with that filter, mm -hmm. they look bad online. And then you see them in person, you're like, Cause then they say that the fillers like move into other places where they shouldn't be. And then yeah, I guess that's why it looks lumpy. I even had that too. There was a girl I knew recently talking about, I'm getting my nose fixed. And I said, what's wrong with your nose? What's wrong with it? Now just look. And she sent me some edited photo of what it, before and after what it, she wants it to look like. And I was like, dude, I'm looking at your face. And if I had to pick what you might want to do, I wouldn't have even thought your nose at all. I was like, bitch, my nose is fucked up. What could possibly be wrong with yours? But I had the same idea about like vapes like what's the long-term effects we don't really know you know like those new been around for it that was like what five six years because like cigarettes and yeah nicotine have been around for a while but like the popularity of vapes and the zins and all that what are the long-term effects really that i guess that's with a lot of new things you don't really know i feel like it's all the college kids are grown adults vaping too i think nowadays it's just thing. yeah it's not as like uncommon I see dads step out of restaurants and like make some puffs and i see them go back to their table with their family that was like probably four 40, 50, so I don't know. Bro, bro, the vapes are taking over. Everybody got a vice. They do. And mine is sausage McMuffins <laughs> from McDonald's. Bro, those are good. <laughs> With egg? It's gotta be a fake egg though. I just eat it so quick, I don't even look at it. Bro, McDonald's need to bring back the cinnamon melts, that's all I'm saying. Cinnamon melt? You never had that. Uh-huh. Oh, the cinnamon melt. So oh, Ryan, oh, oh, Ryan cinnamon. would love that actually. Bro, I was in sixth I grade getting cinnamon. them at like 6 a.m. before school. Every Friday, I'd get to get like fast food or something for breakfast. And yeah, those cinnamon up to McDonald's. Have you guys had the new crumble cookie cookie of the week? <laughs> what? I haven't actually. They have a cinnamon roll cookie, and it's not even a cookie, it's a straight cinnamon roll in the square shape. Oh, I saw that. I heard about that. I, I had it twice this week. I have a problem. Might have been the best thing ever, and I, I got a joke. They don't, they, they don't repeat the cookies after this week, it's gone. They don't, they do a new cookie every week. Only you would know about that sort of <laughs> info. Crumble, I don't think crumble I cookie of the week. Crumble cookies. I'm an insomnia guy. Every week, they either have the cookies are either warm or they're chilled. So they like, they're not all melty gooey, but then they also have like, they're like, cold but they're, they're good you're like an ambassador for them can we get like a brand deal from a food place or something we talked about this though in the other reaction videos ethicalness is that a word ethicalness what's the ethicalness the That's ethics not a word. the ethics. ethics what are the ethics of promoting cookies soda what's worse promoting cart like a cigarette or soda a cigarette that's automatically just damaging i think it's just like something that's bad and everyone knows that that's bad so a soda is smoking one cigarette equivalent to drinking one soda or would you say it's a little different surely there's more carcinogens in cigarette smoke than in a sprite that's a good it's a good point you bring up though but i think i don't know i don't know you know what scrolling is a new smoking can i get a round of applause please clap no that was good
for the sound effect. Yeah. There's two things I, I was gonna mention. I had a conversation the other day about weed, like weed smoking. What is y'all's thoughts on that? Someone asked me, why don't you smoke or drink or anything? I was feeling all proud about myself, like I don't know, smoking or drinking, because I'm just the best. But then they're like, you know, but it does make for good memories when you're drunk with friends and stuff like that. And I was like, that is actually a good argument. The type of memories you can have when you're drunk versus when you're sober are different. They're different types of experiences. And I was like, oh yeah. And people like are affected by it differently. And I think when someone likes the way something makes them feel, they'll do it again. Like we said, people have vices. You can be addicted to anything. People say you can't be addicted addicted to weed. I think you can. Oh, uh -huh. you could definitely yeah. be addicted to weed. Like some people like need it every single like day. Like reliant. Cause I'm like technically addicted to like getting money and shit, but there's nothing, there's no addictive properties in the paper. Hopefully they laughed at that. I bring that up because because <laughs> this morning I woke up beautiful sunshine this morning and I get in my car and I smelled someone smoking and I was like, you didn't even give the day a chance yet. <laughs> like <laughs> It's a wake and bake. But for some people it's a lifestyle. Like it's just not even a thing. They don't think about it. I know some it. people that say they're more productive using it. There's people that microdose on shrooms every day. Like it's just natural like coffee in the morning. Me personally, like you said, everyone, if it works for them and their body likes it and their brain likes that feeling, they'll do it again. Mm -hmm. There's things I could do that pineapple on pizza. You give me a dollar Dominoes with the pineapple on the pizza, light sauce, that'll fuck me up. Like, you know the way like you, when you bite an insomniac cookie, like, yeah. you know how that makes you feel? Yep. You almost would want another one on another day. I think it's like that. And that's how weed smokers are. Yeah. You gotta find the right balance. Sorry to cut you no, off. No, yeah. Exactly, yeah, because when you're too addictive or reliant on it, that's when things get really messy. Yeah, because it's like, a, it's escapism. Everyone has their own form of escapism to just make life just that much better. Like, I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm gonna eat my insomnia cookie. I don't want to deal with the stress of, my mom hates me, I'm gonna smoke. Or some people are so good at worrying about things without fixing the things, but that's probably just anxiety. It's a crutch. All that to say, I had a health scare. We were just talking about Brian, I think his name's Barcheck, the guy that just yeah, passed. And crazy, today is the, the exact day, four years ago, Kobe Brian died. It's today. Today? Yeah. So when you said that, not joke, but whatever you said earlier about that, it's today's the day. Holy shit. I remember waking up on my phone, seeing that shit. I was at the gym, <laughs> obviously that's where I was. My mom calls me, hey, the doctor's like trying to get a hold of you. Did you go to the urgent care or something? And I was like, I did like two and a half weeks ago. And they did like a chest x-ray on me and they gave me an EKG for my heart because I was having shortness of breath. Everything came back fine. My mom calls me, they're trying to get a hold of you. And I said, trying to get a hold of me? They said everything was fine. I was like, they didn't call me. I didn't see any messages or anything. Then I look at my phone, one call, I see the voicemail. Hey, this is Dr. So-and-so, please give us a call back. And then in the two days later, hey, this is So-and-so, could you give us a call? And I'm like, Oh shit. So I call the doctor. I was like, yo, y'all were asking, do I need to come in or something? Yeah, could you uh, come in? And I was like, come in. Like, I was like, is everything okay? Like, what's the issue? Just, um, if you could just get here. I said, bro, what? So at that point I was like, yeah, I'm dead. Like, that's it for me. Ryan texted us like, guys, <laughs> I might not make it today. I was like, yo, chill, just go to the doctor's and hear him out. I said, you'll be fine. I said, the second I got that, like, just come in. I thought, I texted him, I was like, well, at least I get to meet Kobe. At least I get to hear the new pop smoke. I'm sitting in the car driving and I was just thinking about my own mortality, being like, oh my God, this really it. And then I was like, okay, well, at least I get to meet pop smoke. But then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was really having this thought. I was like, okay, I was like looking for pros. Like, okay, Kobe, pop smoke, PNB rock. I love PNB. And I was like, there's so many other great artists and things that I like about being alive that are all, everyone's still alive here. And I was like, okay, I get to meet Coco. But then I was like, oh, I like more stuff here while I'm alive. There's less things that I would enjoy in the promised land, technically. I mean, Jesus would be there, but anyway. I got there and then I said, yeah, you guys need to see me. I'm like, what's the issue? I was like, is everything okay? And, and you were sweating, I bet. Like, oh, I was shaking. I'm in there thinking, they're calling me back, talking about some come in. They don't just do that for your overpaid bill, for your unpaid bill or something. But I was thinking like, yeah, if it was an emergency, like they would make sure like they get in contact with you. That's why I thought, I told you like, it was, you'll be fine. Like, but that's why I was scared. Cause I was like, they called my mom. They called me twice. They called the- Yeah, that is pretty me. scary. So then I said, is everything okay? They're like, oh, we're good. You, you just have a seat. We'll have the doctor and I was like, am I good? She's like, well, I can't say what. It's HIPAA laws or whatever. And I was like, do I have cancer? Like, what is it? Tell me something. She's like, I can't say that. <laughs> so I slapped her, just kidding. So I sat down and I had to wait an hour. See, if it was an emergency, they wouldn't have you wait an hour. Yeah, no, exactly. Come on. Or maybe they would. Or yeah, I, could, uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> there were some fucked up people in the waiting room. People like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, there was a guy that was like vomiting one time, bro. I just had like a bad headache and he was like, <laughs> 
and it happened like seven times. I was like, can we rush him to the front? I don't even need to get into that bad, but like this brother's like, I think he puked out all intestines inside him. <laughs> then they call me in and I heard the nurse talking about at the front of like, oh, you're Ryan, right? Yeah, we were just talking about you in the back. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and get you. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I get in there, I sit in the waiting room, I'm sitting in the, in the thing. Finally, the doctor comes in and says, they did an x-ray of my chest and one doctor said that it looked like I might have had a lung infection, but then she goes, but I looked at the x-ray and I disagreed. And so did the other doctor who initially gave you the x-ray. Unless you're feeling anything crazy, you're not having any symptoms of coughing, shortness of breath, fever, whatever, then we think it's nothing, so you should be fine. And should. Talking about some, well, we disagree. What? Would you consider getting another check, like another scan somewhere else, like a double check, you know? Or how do you feel I about that? I think I am going to go, because I'm a hypochondriac, I think I am gonna go to my primary care doctor, just follow up, saying like, oh, they said this, give me the scan, yeah. give me the blood test, let me just make sure I got all my shit good. I said, my lungs feel fine. All that to say is basically nothing. I'm happy to hear that. You could have been scared, but. And I actually felt so good after that, because I thought I had, I thought I had like the C word. What do you do when you get that diagnosis? But luckily I don't have to think like I mean, that. You could probably meet Dwayne The Rock Johnson, make I, a wish. Oh, I could do a make a wish. Yeah. We did donate to the make a wish yeah. thing. I think you're too old for make a wish. Damn, is it cut off? You know what I did actually, right, be right before I went to the doctor's office, when they're like, oh, I Panda Express. Do you want to donate to the children's hospital? Every time I would say, nah, I'm good. Sorry, kids. I would say that to the thing. Just because I'm funny and I don't care. And then today, before I went to the doctor's appointment, they're like, you want to donate? I said, yes, $10. He donates every time now. I you had a little scare today. I you got had a little scared. scare. And I was like, bro, I would want some, someone to donate 10 bucks to me if I was in that position. You see life a little differently now, you know? You know what I want is like a full body scan. Oh. And just, just tell me like if I'm good, if I have anything, like how do I get that done? They, they have those though. Do I they really? They pay like 400, 800 bucks, but you can get a place to do a whole deep search of everything. I need that. Like, I'd love to just do that. Just get it out the way. It's that's still kind of nerve wracking though. It's like, it's always the stuff where it's like, oh, I didn't feel nothing, but it's like, it was in my body somewhere. Yeah, there's an infection underneath your elbow. It's been there for probably five years. It's getting worse. I probably should have done the scan. I had a new lease on life after I, they told me potential pneumonia, but not at all. I was like, oh my God, y'all, why y'all scaring me, bro? But I felt very happy to be alive. I think I needed it. Like you're not invincible. No one's invincible. Everybody go get their checkups, go to the doctors. Be checking everything, check your nuts for the, I'll show why that's the first thing I kind of you're a guy, yeah. Uh, testicular kid. Anyone got anything positive? I don't know, I have like a bad cough right now, so I don't know. Oh shit. Um, you guys are both sick, huh? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I was gonna talk about these. Oh shit. Oh, here we go, new shoes. That's what I thought. Since this is like a shoe vlog, you mm -hmm. know? So I wanted to get like a new pair of shoes because my Air Force One's like, I'm done with those, bro. I, I just wore those every single day. It's like, I need to grow up. So I was like, oh, let me get some nice like designer Italian leather shoes that I could just wear every day, right? So I got them, tried them on, and I thought they fit me. Golden Goose. Golden Ooh. Goose, little Golden Goose vibe. Ooh. I wore them for a little bit that day. And then I realized, oh, they're a little bit too big. And then I went into the store to try on the smaller ones. I'm like, oh, these are perfect. So I was like, oh, let me just return these because I didn't even wear them. Like they're just brand new still. They did not let me return them. And how are they not gonna let me return a shoe that already comes scuffed up? Like that's the design. Like, you know, the designer, like he took it to the back and he said, oh yeah, the boss said it's uh, it's, sho it's showing too much uh, signs of wear. And I said, it's already a scuffed up shoe, sir. It's already, that's the, the design's already scuffed. Yeah, how are you gonna say too much signs of wear on a golden goose shoe, which is notorious for being beat the fuck up. Like what part was from me and what part was from the designer? They look brand new to me. So that got me tight just cause it was like <laughs> expensive. Bro. You don't have to show the camera, but just. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, with I, got I got hit with retail and then I saw the total. With, Let me see. With tax and shit. It couldn't be that. Look at the bottom though. Yeah. Wait, a look, the, no, no, look at the bottom. They were gonna be my everyday new shoe that I was gonna have forever and ever. Look at the total. Oh, oh. <laughs> So he said, yeah, we're not gonna be able to resell these here. I said, oh. Well, it's a nice, cool. it's kind of a nice receipt, the way they put the thing in a customer copy. Kind of nice for what it's worth. I put them on eBay, no, I have two watchers <gasps> for four weeks. If anybody is a size nine, it fits like a size. 
a size 10, I think, nine and a half. I'm like, are you serious, sir? They look like I just bought them. You could just put them back on the shelf. No one's gonna buy them and be like, hmm, these seem a little bit scuffed up than usual. How would, you, how would they even know? How would they know? It's Golden Goose, bro. And I, I wanted to just exchange a size. I just want to get a smaller size. I didn't even want my money back. Can't you just go to multiple? I would go to a different Golden Goose. There's so many. Ryan's gonna buy them off of me. Yeah, Come let's on. put them on. Which, what size are they? They're size 42, I think, which is oh, like that, a that which might, is like a nine and a half or something. Might be my size. Don't want to scuff them up too bad. Well, I can't return them anyways at this point. Yeah, <laughs> kind of my size. Like they're fresh. A little too tight though. Sorry, I can't do anything for you. Good luck with your two eBay watchers though. <laughs> try Maybe on the I'll pump. grow into them one day. <laughs> try, <laughs> try on the pumps. Actually, let me try these on. <laughs> I felt my testosterone shoot up when I put them on. But... These kind of go with the fit. Yeah. I'll bump a little bit though. Oh yeah, shit, my bad. <laughs> I feel like lifting. Exactly. They get me, They got me excited to want to do squats. You need a bar or something. Something to squat. See? No, yeah, because they keep your heels like there. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, yeah. See how it makes a world of difference? It actually, okay. Sorry for talking shit on these. Wait, let me see how I look in the mirror. No, see these, yeah, these are a little too big and they're actually pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> They're not supposed to be stylish. It's just for working out. Oh, I thought I thought they were kind of stylish. For, They're just for working. For out. workout shoes. Like what kind of style were you thinking? Like if you imagine me in shape. That's hard to imagine. And, and I know. <laughs> I can imagine that, Ryan. No, he, he had his health scare today. All right, <laughs> leave him alone. I've been through so much today. <laughs> Bury me with the SP hoodie. No, I need to be dripped out in my cask. And, and SP, I mean. Do y'all want to be cremated? I don't know, and it's like I wouldn't even be here to even know. Like you get. Cremate it, cremate it, and then everyone that was close to you gets a little bottle of your ashes for a little necklace. Yeah, like I guess that's the coolest thing, maybe. I'd be down to rock that. A little Rob Ash. Right? <laughs> but you can like, you know, like it'll look cool, like uh -huh. a little piece of jewelry. Maybe ice it out or something. What should I do, guys? Let me know. For future, for it's future reference. It's for future reference. Long down the road. Yeah. Or you can have like a grave site where like people could come and leave flowers. You know, fans could come up. Like you have your big, big shrine, rhino shrine. What's it even worth when Everyone's gonna be forgotten anyway. Even on the longest timeline, everyone's gonna be forgotten. Like, oh no, like how many people passed away? Betty White passed away. Not that many people have uttered her name and she did so much. She did way more than most people. Jerry Springer gave me all those laughs and I forgot he died last year. Jerry Springer. Oh my, he did die. Yeah, and then I look at myself, I'm like, well, who am I? Literally just here one day, go on the next. <laughs> well, at least I got the Reebok pumps on. That'll help me lift better. <laughs> Wait, I need to get myself some of these. They wow. almost make you walk like with a better posture. Yeah. And they give you that instant like what, inch, two inches or some shit? For like an inch and a half, two but inches. You try to talk to a girl in the gym, they, they look down. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're looking at the pumps, honey. <laughs> Go ahead and pump me up. <laughs> okay, I'm washing all my clothes right now, so I have two different socks on. <laughs> wait, does it actually pump or am I? It actually does. Oh, wait, I it think it like compresses it. It makes it tighter, so you have like a more... Oh, I can feel it. Wait, let me see if we release it. Oh yeah, it's just the tongue. So it's like ankle support. It does do something. We were supposed to do like go out today, but they sold out on the tickets that we're supposed to go, so there's we're a, just stuck here. There's a women's basketball game. Wait, where, high school or? Like a UCLA, women's basketball. Guys. Women's basketball. What is it, like a... No, no, it's the women's basketball. They have tickets available. They have tickets. How much are court side to a WNBA? Maybe they just give them away. <laughs> <laughs> They're just outside of the Staples Center at Crypto.com Arena. That don't ro that don't even roll off the tongue. Crypto.com Arena. <laughs> Welcome to Crypto.com Arena. It's funny, people are like, oh, you can't hit on women's sport. That's not, you can't hit on, bro, not even women go to those. What y'all mad at me for? Go to the games then. You could probably go outside and ask a girl, like, they'd probably know more men players than women play that's basketball a, players. Th that's a fact. Well, Rob, that's because they're not, women's basketball isn't pushed in the media. No one watches. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Yeah, we should go. Next week, we're going to WNBA. I heard WNBA and I have been clocked out. So. Uh, well, this is UCN, this is college. This is different. Oh. The stakes, I yeah, almost fuck with college ball more. Cause there, there was a girl that, she's a UCLA dancer, I think, cheerleader. And she said it should wave to me. So that's like my incentive for going. I don't know, but it's whatever y'all want to do today. Is it a free game? It's gotta be free. We ain't gotta stay the whole time. This is another random thing. This is a long ass vlog, but. There, I saw this thing on TikTok. Someone was giving this bullshit advice and they were like, you should never be bored. And I was like, bro, you should be bored. 
bored. That boredom's like an incredible thing. You can gain a lot from being bored. If you don't have your phone and you're not consuming TV, music, whatever, your brain will actually, that's like the real you. When there's nobody in your ear telling you what to think, what to laugh at, what's cool, what's funny, your brain will start conjuring up its own concepts and that's like the real you. So people should be bored more often. Is doing nothing still doing something? Is nothing something? Technically, technically it is. Nothing is something. What is it? It's nothing. What's the longest you've been like unstimulated, you know, apart from sleeping? No music, no phone, no nothing. Like it was just you and your thoughts. I like to do that though sometimes. Mm, okay. No music though? No music, no, no nothing in the background, no bird chirp. Like just outside on a walk potentially. Yeah, I always have like music playing or something or like a video playing. That's what I was thinking. This is why I feel like an elitist because whenever you get into a car with someone, people get in my car and like want to put some music on. I'm like, no. And then they think I'm weird. And they're like, why do you want to play music? I do got to say like when I'm driving, that's probably when I would drive and just be in my own thoughts sometimes. No music, no video playing. That would be the time I would be doing that. I just think it's something that I personally want to focus on this year, which is who even am I? If I'm always on my phone listening to something, something in my ear, that's not really me then. My thoughts aren't even my own. But don't you need outside sources for to formulate your own thoughts? Because if you had nothing to reference, what would you think about? That's just, that's the beauty of it. What could I think of if I had no nothing in my ear? What would my brain come up with? That's not to say you can't get inspired by consuming something. You can listen to an artist, watch a video, read a book, oh, get an yeah. idea, and then it, you think of something and it's, that's completely good. But what could you do without any of that? Yeah, what can you think of when you don't have other things getting in the way of your thoughts? Exactly. Yeah, People. yeah meditation, pretty much. Meditation, or even, yeah, even just walking. I've only heard good things things from meditating, so I'm gonna try that. You can meditate at the women's basketball game because ain't nothing really going on. I'll be sleeping at the same. <gasps> Didn't Gideon do like a prank where he like fell asleep at the WNBA? <laughs> I want to ask women basketball players how they feel about that constant slander. Your whole sport just getting shit on. Yeah, that would be a good video. I, I don't even think they care though. It's just like, well, I'm just playing a sport. Do you know what like the best player in the NBA gets paid? Not a clue. And they probably like a lot. Probably like a 200K or some shit. Noah's been silent ever since we bought up women's basketball. Uh, he's been clocked out, yeah. Nicholas Cage says goodbye. Biggest basketball game, high school basketball game. Apparently, here. there's like no seats, so we're like all gotta search and scatter and find Rob a seat. Rob has to sit away. Ryan's up there, and uh, I got a pretty good seat. Yeah, it's here. gonna be Sierra Canyon versus Notre Dame High School. Apparently, they're the best in the country or something. And Matt's gonna camouflage as a media guy so you can stand and get the shot. Damn, he got the full fit on too. Check that out. How tall are you, bro? Like six six. Damn, that's crazy. He got the best fit on here. I'm not I seen you walk in. I said, wait, that looks familiar. All right, so we're at a uh, Sierra Canyon High School. We're at the Sierra Canyon versus Notre Dame basketball game. It's live streaming on ESPN right now. That's why we had to pull up because it's like it's a serious deal. Who are we rooting for? I don't know what section this is. I know Bryce James is on Sierra Canyon, so I feel like we got to do Notre Dame. We have been in Notre Dame more times. This is really taking me back to when I was in high school. There's something about these high school games that the energy is just unmatched. It's like you have to be here, even though you're not playing. Like the other students are here cheering on. So, you know, it's nice to just sit here and I'm trying to blend in right here with the Letterman on. Some of these guys are tall, like, like look at number 25. 25 is, is tall. How do you feel so far? These kids, there's no way they're 17 years old. The high school players here are fucking huge. I don't know what they're putting in the Lunchables these days, but the head coach came up to me and said, like, if they start struggling, they're going to call me in on it. I heard that, yeah, yeah. So Ryan might punch in just in case. They might, he gave me a spare jersey, so we'll see if it gets to that point, but I'm excited to be here. Man. Promise I can't let go Had a plan to make sure I'm honest Until I go I'm the man I'm remaining solid I cannot fall It's already good It's like going back and forth I'm We got um Pippin son And LeBron son playing So It's a good game Bro I feel like I'm a part of like a ESPN, what is that called, 30 for 30 or something, when they do like a little docu-series following the players, but I'm witnessing with my eyes. It really feels like a fucking movie out here right now. Rich ass parents, these physical anomaly high school kids that look, where I can get over the physiques of these 16 year olds. Again, some of them I'm like, brother, you're not 16. Luckily, the game was super close. The coach said, he, he texted me, he doesn't, they don't need me yet, but that's only if Notre Dame's are struggling, so. Ryan's there for backed up safety just in case, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Ryan is just popping tonight over here. Man, it's popular.
They must not see me down here. You want a plane ticket, baby? You gon' have to show me something. She just said she home alone. I felt like Forrest cause I'm running. I done went broke and ran it up before from having nothing. Need a blind white bitch who don't get mad when I fuck her cousin. You want a white boy, not a normal one, the one with flavor. Huh? I was rooting for Sierra Kane. I was shooting you. I was rooting for Notre Dame. But that was a great comeback, though. How, who were you rooting for, Rob? Sierra Kane. Oh, shit. <laughs> it brought me back, like, to the high school days. Like, it made me feel like I was a part of Like, I was invested. It, it's like because the coach had Ryan's jersey in the back, and they should have subbed him in for the last 30 seconds. Right, that's what I'm saying. That, and everyone's been coming up to me thinking I'm a player here. They're like, wait, you're not on the team? But it's, man, it is taking me back to my glory days, though. It must be throwback Thursday. How you puffing out them old ass pigs? I don't care about them wrecks you had to And the wildest part is, this microphone is hooked up. The coach has an earpiece, the head coach of Sierra Canyon. And I told him what play to run at the final, what, like the final two minutes there. And the coach is like, all right, we'll run it. They ran the play that I told him, and then they, they won. So, so you helped the other team. You're rooting for Notre Dame, but you gave Sierra Canyon the right play to win. Yeah, I'm close with both of the coaches. And I don't want to take credit for the win, but I just, I called the play and then he ran it. So I need like a rhino statue right in the front right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they, they did speak to me about that, but, you know. Just like this. <laughs> a lot of fan love. I think most of the kids thought I was Austin McBroom. That was the youngest age I've ever seen come up. I don't get a ticket. They saw like, you or someone else, bro. Yeah. Oh, ain't no way they watched the video. Oh, I think they just saw other people taking a picture, and they were like, I don't know, I'll do it too. Um, barbecue sauce, please. And that'll be it. We got one more order coming through. Can I get two hot and spicy McChicken? Let me get a number five with the Sprite. Right, uh, sorry, give me one second. He might not be able to hear. I could regurgitate. No, thing. I think he's just entering all your whole order in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're shitting on me because I got, normally I get four apple pies, but I, because I'm with people oh in public, I got three. I thought he was ordering for other people like back at the spot. But. I get the plain cheeseburger meal, and then I get a buckload of apple pie. I keep saying this, bro, bury me with a sweet tea, bro. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, two hot and spicy McChickens, and then let me get a number five. That's a total. $74 at McDonald's. Rob forced me to keep eating this McDonald's. Damn, what did we order? Whatever it was a special did. occasion. It was. I was really rude for Notre Dame. That was a game though I think we were expecting like something hype and it was actually really hype. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better game. I was just laughing about this in the car. Y'all remember the meme where the kid's like, damn it guys, coach is right. If we want to win, it's on us. Guys, coach is right. If you want to win this, it's on us. Shut the fuck hey, up. I think uh, Notre Dame could have used me in their huddle like during the timeout, I could have given a good pep talk. No, that's what I was saying, because I would see them and that they weren't like driving in to do, to do the layups. And I'm like, bro, that's why the other team is getting the points and they're stacking up the two points because they kept shooting the threes and missing. But after the second half, I don't know what they did in that huddle, but they turned it up. They didn't let them shoot. They were just defense mm -hmm. all the way. I always wanted to be a basketball player. Did you play at all ever? Never, only did soccer. I played in middle school. Were you good, middle school? That's what I would do at lunch was like play basketball with my friends. And sure. then we would have like a little league at our Catholic school and we would play other Catholic schools So it was nothing like too serious, but it was just fun. We should play basketball. We should I gotta find some shoes because I guess you can't play in bands probably not You can't play in your pump it your pump it up. I might just fuck, her, fuck around and dunk on someone in my pump it You know what I was thinking about earlier if a time machine were to be invented Does that mean it was already invented? Yes, because if the time machine got invented then that means it would exist right now They could go back to this time Right? But then time would cease to exist. Like it wouldn't be a thing anymore. The second a time machine got invented would destroy the very fabric of existence because let's assume I have access to a time machine and I say something on the vlog or something. I say something to you, say I put you in the nuts and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I can use a time machine, go back and not do that. Or you could use one and move out of the way. You see what I'm saying? Where you could just manipulate every single second and thing you said, oh, I just saw someone made a good invention for something. I'm gonna go back in time, do it before them. Yeah, I always thought about that. Like. I wanna go back in time and come out with the biggest hits. Like, Justin Bieber, baby. Like, what if I was the one that sang it first? Then I could, my trajectory of my career could have been, who knows? The time machine would be so dangerous and impactful. Only like one person could use it. 
And even if they used it, one tiny thing that they did would change the whole history of the world. If you became Justin Bieber before Justin Bieber was a thing, what are all the things that Justin Bieber did and people he impacted in his life that then would it would be different because it would be you? That's all I was saying. So a time machine like does already exist. It exists in the future. I just know that there's infinite universes with infinite us's. Because the universe is infinite, that means there's infinite Earths, infinite versions of us doing different, different things. Even ones that are matching my exact movements right now. And then one that sli did a slightly different movement. Am I the only one that just literally did that right now? Do you think I'm the only one in the world that just did that? Or do you think someone had to have done the same exact move that I just did? Well, clone Rob in another universe on another earth just did the exact same thing, the exact same movement to the exact T. And then there's another one that did it and placed this here. Another one that placed it here. Another one that didn't do it at all. Another one that's gay and did it like this. Ryan has something with like gay, like sort of topics once it starts getting late, you know? Weren't you just talking about James Charles earlier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sister. Hey, sisters. I would love to meet him one day. Because we're in the same, like, YouTube. Is he, in, what is he, does he still do videos? Makeup palettes, I thought, like makeup and shit. He was the biggest thing. I only see memes of him now on, like, people making fun of him on TikTok now. I almost enjoy that people watch just our mundane conversations. Like, I I would hate to have to be one of those YouTubers that's like, building the biggest Q-tip and giving it to the Q-tip creator. And next up, we're gonna move to the kitchen and I'm gonna drink the Sprite. I haven't had a Sprite in a minute because I've been trying to do the water thing. And the Sprite from McDonald's, everyone already knows. Like, Don't even give this me shit is this. spicy. I actually told myself that I was stopping drinking soda for this year. Meanwhile, I'm down in this, I'm guzzling this fucking sweet tea, which probably has more grams of sugar than this fucking yeah. soda. I only do special occasions, you know. Mm. Sierra Canyon, they won. We got the new merch in. Hey sisters, let me check up on James Charles. He's we should send James Charles some merch. Like, come on, I think you rocked it. It zips up all the way, I mean. Let me look. Cause I was just looking up James Charles tour compilation this morning. Just so. for like research. He's doing his thing. Why is that like? Is he trans? What is that? Is that him too? He does make it pretty good though. I mean, shout out to James Charles and Shoddy Bay. How'd you know who that is? Can we get Shoddy Bay on the channel? How did Rob know who this is? Cause I'm cultured, bro. I know things. What the fuck? What does she do? She's herself. She has balls palsy, I think. Is it just a physical, it's not a mental thing? I don't know with her. I think she has something like, maybe a little mentally like, oh, okay. challenged, like kind of a little bit, but she's entertaining. And I heard she just started OnlyFans, so. You're joking. Come on, man. It's all Rob right here. Any sort of closing statement? Do you think those, the son, like the sons of the NBA players that we're playing today, do you think they feel any sort of pressure? Like, yo, you're, you're Pippin's son. You gotta make that. You're LeBron's son. I wanted to just congratulate and commend the players. That setting of the high school, like one of the top basketball high schools in the nation, and everyone's there. And there's celebrities there. The Strawberry Park guys are there. Scotty Pippin's there. Bronny's there. All the cheerleaders on both things. And you're just this, it's what, a 17 year old, 16 year old kid mm -hmm. having to make the shot. That pressure, I was just thinking if I was on the court, I would be out of breath, roll my ankle, and then be in tears within the first yeah. 30 seconds. Like knowing like you just got the ball and you have to make it to like even the score or some shit. And even if you have good muscle memory and you know what you're doing, under that amount of everyone screaming at you and shit, and the coach is yelling. Most interesting thing I thought about the whole game was everyone there was rich. All the parents mm -hmm. who were watching are rich because it's cost $40,000 uh, to have your kid in those schools. Notre Dame and Sierra Canyon. So I'm looking at, and I'm seeing all the rich black families, all the rich white mm -hmm. families, and I don't know what it was, but even the little details of like young kids there, maybe like elementary or middle school, but rich middle school kids, the shape ups on the kids were perfect. Their curls were the most perfectly curled hair. The They're parents, like trendy style and expensive clothes mm -hmm. and shoes. Like you could peep the shoes are all wearing like off white. The kids got phones. I'm like, aren't you six? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're walking around. Like, the parents were obviously rich and they, they have rich kids. Whoa. It's like if you go to Calabasas and shop around, it's a different experience than, you know, going to Westfield or something. Yes, exactly. And I felt like I was watching a documentary, like a docu-series. It was really cool to be there and just to be a part of that. Like, I guess that was a historical game because Notre Dame lost for the first time, right? 
Mm -hmm. They were undefeated. I was on my feet towards the end. Mm -hmm. She had me excited and shit. Shout out to the rich people. I went to a poor ass school. I went to a public school. I was not having no fresh fade. It was like 12 year olds in front of me. Clean ass little fades. Yeah, the kids are growing up quicker nowadays. You almost don't know what age anyone is. But hey, shout out to them. I definitely Thanks want to go to more events because that was fun. Yeah, see, that was one of many. It's the start of the year. Start of the vlog. It's only our third day out here. Yeah. Jolene is here. Hey, try some of this. These are so good. What is this? Winter cheese. Sheer nut blend. I'm sorry, is this, salty. Is this what gives the youthful look? It actually probably makes you older. Oh shit, here we go. But it is gluten free. Mmm. Is that like your sweet treat? Like, is this yeah, your like guilty yeah, pleasure? A, well, kind of, but I mean, not really. I still like cake more. Will you have another one? Mmm. Winner. Delicious. Not recommended. Yeah, I'm used to stuff with like, that tastes good. So. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, it's just not sweet enough and not salty enough. It's like right in the middle. Yeah. It's perfect. Well, the exact reason why I wouldn't huh. like it. I want to show you a magic trick. See what um, you got. It involves this dice. Okay. Should I hold it? Make sure it's a normal dice. Actually, we use these in our cla in my classroom. Okay, you're familiar yeah. with it. So what I want you to do, when the editor edits this, there's going to be no cuts. Okay. No, no, this is no okay. camera trick, nothing. I would like you to shake it up in your hand. Okay. I want you to roll it and then cover it okay. so that you can't even see what it rolled and okay. I can't even see what it landed okay. on. So shake it. So you're shaking it and then roll it on the table and cover it. Okay. Okay, you rolled a two. What? So let's do it again, just to make sure it's... Or I can turn around. I'll turn around. I'm trying to figure out the trick. All right, Ryan's not gonna look, you're gonna roll it. Fine, it's gonna be two again. You don't have to cover it, you can roll it, let's see. Oh, just roll, just roll it. it. Yeah. Um, you rolled a one. What? Do it again and cover it so that you okay. can't see it. What? Oh, wait, wait, I'm testing this out. Okay, fine. Um. Um, and you rolled a five. What are you doing over there? What's happening? Nothing, nothing in my pocket. I'm patting him down. I have, um, <laughs> well, I do have my phone on me, but nothing. Noah, can you do the magic trick? Uh, I can do card tricks, but not that. Okay, go. Look at my face. Look at my face. What did I roll? Two. What the world? Does it go five, one, two? <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, five. We can do this all day. Does it ever roll six? Um, shake it in your hand and lay it on the table, and then wait until one's like face up. Okay. Okay. One. So it goes two, one, five. <laughs> it's Try two, it one, again. Five. And then make sure no one can see it, not even me, not even you. Man, it's face up. Okay, well, no one's supposed <laughs> to say it. It's Jolene. not five, I was thinking it was five, okay. Okay. And you it's gotta- It's five. It's flat. Well, let's make sure it's like completely it face is. up. It is. You sure? Yeah. It's flat. You want to go with this one? You don't want to shake it anymore? No. Two. What? This is not a magic trick. You what think, are you doing? You think this is good for like picking up chicks? Probably if I say the term picking up chicks, probably wasn't, <laughs> isn't, doesn't help me. Depends on what you want them for. Um, for guys doing magic, I don't, yeah, no actually, and I are going to bring actually, magic yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. We're bringing it back. Okay, why don't you try it tonight? Where we go? Well, you find a girl and then you see if it works. Um, I'll find a guy and I'll put it right here and I'll go, would you like to play a dice? Do you wanna, wanna play a dice game? You Grab the dice. Trick? Jolene. <laughs> Shake it up. Uh, do it one more time. No, I, I'm like confused. I'm I really I'm about to Google this myself. Let me know whenever you Done. Um six. What? I think that's something. What? There, he's looking at something. Okay, <laughs> since we're gonna play this trick on people, potentials, what's the trick? I can't tell you. The, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you the trick. I can't tell you the secret. Noah, do you know that? Noah, you're I the know. nice one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. No, Noah knows it, and it's just like, when well, you know well, it. I just can't say shit. And it's a real dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. What did you roll? What'd you roll? Well, Hold it flat. Yeah. Hold it flat. Right now, I don't think it's on anything, because it's like. Open it up, no. Why don't I put it no. back? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, now go. From right here. <laughs> From right here. Four. Go. Go. It's probably a four. 
No! It was a two! Was yes! There is something to it. There is something to it. I gotta figure out what it is. Jolene's wearing the... Unreleased. Unreleased. Royal... Royal blue. blue. Baby blue. Baby blue. Letterman. We only made pink before and now we made a new color. How's it feel? It's fire. I believe this was the top voted color that other people wanted. Remember when I said sick? We gotta figure out if that's still a thing. Yeah, that thing is clean. It's fire, yeah. And then if you're a guy and you pair that Letterman... I have to keep talking about this Wait, why don't you put it on? This lotion that oh. I use... I'm gonna... Let me put it on Bath quick. and Body Work. Yeah. 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 Are you familiar with this? I bought my ex one of these colors before. Oh, damn. I don't remember which one. Why'd y'all break up? Because he wore this lotion. Well, that wasn't I'm it. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I always advertise it. We don't do any brand deals because like nobody fucks with us. Um, no companies or whatever. But I always just advertise this because I like helping out our young male viewers who are trying oh, to Oh, I like... thought you were going to say the company. I'm like, they don't need help, but OK. Here's what I do. I actually put it on my skin, whatever. And then I'll go like this. Once there's a little remainder, I'll be like this. Oh, you get your clothes all oily. What about like All oily? Hair? Well, I do that too. I use it like a cologne, like you would spray cologne. So then obviously it's a little strong right now. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, Jolene, it's hey. so good to see you. It's been so long. Oh my God, that's what you smelled like when I first saw you at the park. And it was good. And you're like this. You guys notice? He's like this. So he's like, smell, smell. I'm like, oh. Um. <laughs> but it smells good. It does smell good. I like the teak wood a lot. I swear that is a secret weapon that I use. Yeah, because. I just want to say that I don't like when guys smell like super cologne. Like, it's like, Agreed. it's not good. That's perfect. But you smell clean. This, once you you put it on, like, you know, five minutes before you're about to head out, and the then you just start is, wafting yeah, it. You don't really need a brand deal from them, because it costs, like, what, 10 bucks, 12, 20 bucks or something for that? Well, to me, helping out our viewers is yeah. priceless. Yeah, I think so. I don't need any money for it. I think young guys should know that they should be hydrated, mm. and they should smell clean. They should, and I smell a lot of smelly motherfuckers. And I'm you like, get that close to them. Th their fucking smell <laughs> just, you just smell them. It smells good. So for every jacket you order, you get the sequel. For every free, jacket, free. if you want to unlock its thing, you have to go buy one of those. So I'm just giving free promo to the teak one. It's worth it.